Hello, hello, everyone. It's -a me, Mandy. I, uh, I kind of wish I didn't do that. But anyway, uh, this was, um, <laughs> I'm embarrassed now. This was sent to me, link and all, shirtless interview with Ricky Gervais and Carl Pilkington at Dream Tech. And I have been informed this has no spoilers of any of the shows or anything that I haven't seen yet. So, it's Ricky, it's Carl, we're watching. I, what are my bucket list, bucket list life goals, there we go, is to watch everything. Carl Pilkington. So, this is, this is one of those things. Let's do it. What are we doing Mr. then? Mr. Mess. Just explain, we just did a photo shoot for um, Shortlist. That's why I've got a little bit of eyeliner on. Um, but it was worth it because Carl had to dress up in tights and knickers, didn't you? And a lion. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not even mine. Well, they won't be mine. But <laughs> a woman, a woman had to like lend me, lend me a tights. <laughs> Brilliant. It's amazing, well, isn't it? I'm gonna do this. This is Mr. and Mrs. Basically. Right. So I'm gonna ask uh, a series of questions uh, of, of Carl. Quite a simple question that favourite film, favourite food. Good. And uh, Ricky, I want you to write down what you think the answer, Carl's answer is going to be. Yeah. So hide it from, hide it from Carl. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's like just leaving the room or going to a little booth. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This is going to be fun. You'll reveal the answer. Ricky will reveal the pad. Yeah. yeah. Right, I can okay. see that. So don't answer straight away. Yeah. Right. Okay. So the first one is, what is Carl's favourite film? Film. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. I, I, before he says anything. I'll have to put it down to two because I reckon he can't decide between two. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to straight away. Oh, oh, Elephant Man and then Mission Impossible came to mind. Oh. I'm going to do that and that. And if I'm right, uh, well, we shouldn't get anything away. Okay. Carl, reveal what your favourite film or indeed favourite film is. He'll know what it is. It's uh, Kez and Elephant Man. I don't know what Kez is. Correct. Well done, Ricky. Yeah. Yeah. If you had to choose between the two? Elephant Man, Elephant Man. Um, probably Kez. Damn it, I don't know what that is. Yeah, yeah Elephant Man is just great, a isn't it? Yeah, it's great. Um, I reckon that really affects you and your kid as well. And well, it's sort of your, well, it's very much, it's very much what I imagined your upbringing Well, I had a magpie, like. didn't I? Well, yeah. And what was the magpie's name? Maggie. Used to come down and peck his grifter. Um, peck, peck me head. Uh, of course. Watching the Elephant Man, you know that bit in the Elephant Man where um, uh, Anthony Hopkins uh, takes John Her John Merrick or Joseph Merrick um, behind a screen, and he's showing it to a load of surgeons, and he's going, "See the deformation of the skull, the spine, the limbs. The, the only thing that is totally normal and untouched." Are the genitals. Carl goes, think of that. The one thing you would want like an elephant and he gets the head. Yeah. <laughs> good, good film, that. <laughs> um, right, next one. Ignoring next one. Carl's favourite food. Oh, snap. Oh, okay. Um, Wait, I'm I, don't, I don't even want to see what he's writing there. Um, I feel like I should probably know this. Oh, I don't know. What are the the chocolate things that he wanted to take to the desert island that you can't just have one of? They weren't milk duds. It was something from over there that I've never heard of before. Pork. I I don't know if you know the thing he would have taken to the freaking desert Very island. Very specific here. Chops. I I, I'm, I I think we're talking about a meal, are we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh. oh God. What, an actual main course? Yes. Well, like, I mean... It... You're not, you're not going to know this. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a... It, to get me... OK, I'm gonna, I've gone for something sort of like... Um, uh, a specific, but that gives me a bit of leeway. Um, so I could be totally wrong here. All right. Carl, please reveal. And you mean one for at home, not going out, not going out, because if I go out, I make more of an effort to have something that someone's had to do some effort with. Right. Now, do, do, you, do you think, like, it, uh, yeah, I've done it like it would be a meal that he could do himself as right, well as... Right, okay. Sausage, beans, potato cakes. Oh, I've got it wrong. 
I thought you were meat and two veg. I've put sort of pork or lamb no, chops. I wouldn't mess about making meat and veg if I was on my own. No? No. What was anyway. it? Sausage, beans, potato cakes. Toaster, potato cakes, beans in a pan, remember sausage you, in I a pan. I remember you put pan. sausages in the toaster once. Yeah, but... <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah he yeah, came he home... Uh, his girlfriend came home to him sticking a knife in the toaster to get the sausages out that were burning. It's, been, it's the way they spit, and I... But why did you put them in the first place? Because I don't like... When you've got them in a frying pan, and then you turn that up and the heat gets going, and they spit, and then the grease is going all over the sort of the, the, uh, the hob. So I thought, do it in the toaster, let it spit on the inside. Yeah. Not as much Break mess. Break the toaster. But it, yeah. It was ages ago, though. You're saying that as if... That's before I met you. So with you out, and he does his sausages, does he, does he pop them on the grill? Does he put them in the oven? Does he stick them in the toaster like a fucking twat? That's how you find stuff out, though, isn't it? That's how yeah. uh, inventors and sure. stuff come about. Trial, mm. trial and error. All right, we'll go for the next one. Yes, please. Carl's I've got you about that. Celebrity. All right, okay. Well, we've got this is one out of two, so we we'll go for the third one. Carl's celebrity crush. Not Tom Cruise. Wouldn't have one. <laughs> what now? Yeah. I'm nearly forty. Do you mean a celebrity crush? That's, that's Do one when I'm a kid or something. That's maybe. the point. What? This is not based on anything because he is, you know, obviously he's never spoken about this or given any. Um, when so I'm hold on, 40. 20 is still young, uh, old. Yeah, isn't so it? say sort of 14 or something. 15. So hold on, when were you born? Uh, 72. 72. So, so we're talking. <laughs> look how hard he's thinking about this. It's a dumb question though, but look at him. Honestly, if if I have obviously no idea, even Ricky doesn't know. That's like, but the first thing that came to mind was the older lady that was on extras in the episode with um, Daniel Radcliffe, and he was talking about her being all sensual or something because she played I don't remember what character. I don't know if it was Catwoman or what, like in tights and I don't know suits those. Sexy Suze, I don't know, something like that. That's what I imagine he's going to say. I don't remember her name, so even if I get it right, I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, I just, even Carl doesn't know. In 84, are we? Uh, 1984. Janet Jackson. She wasn't around in 84. <laughs> We've lost the pen and pad in the middle of the street. Oh, when yeah. She, hold on, wasn't she around in 84? No, I don't wasn't think her. so, no. Paula Abdul. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> you guys know. So there's an answer. There is someone who at 14 you thought, oh, she's nice, and I've got to guess who this woman is in 1984. Debbie Harry. I don't know who nope. that is. You don't know yet. No. <laughs> 84. <laughs> Probably um, one of her. Uh, Want a banana rama? <laughs> That's not funny. Because <laughs> it's so random. It's Anything you say is funny. Anything you say. Right? What the hell is that? I am looking that up. What on earth? Hold on, because I just want to get into the the mindset of Carl. Ah, uh, pop group. I didn't even know that. Okay. All right, they... Just three pretty women. You said it's funny, but um... Dude, uh, oh, it's also, why not? Ricky is so loud compared to everybody else. Urgh, it's hard to get the volume on this. Ricky's killing me and everybody else is kind of quiet. They haven't got anyone in mind. And then there's been about nine members of Bananarama. Oh. Narrow it down a bit. <laughs> no, no, come on. Which one of Banana Rama? Uh, God. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> it was <laughs> the darker one. <laughs> the dark hair okay. one. Okay. Right. Yeah, good. Next one. What have I had that? <laughs> the darker one in Banana Rama. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember, you've got to write it down. Okay. Yeah, we're going to the Sorry. Carl's favourite book. Favourite book? Oh, oh the freak. No. Book. The one no. with all the. Well. Yeah. 
carries it around. Are we talking novel, fiction? Book. Or what? They said book. I think we're talking any, Just a book. Any, any book. Just a book. Uh, if you had to say one book to a desert island, what would it be? You know, I don't know why you do, why you're not writing it out. Even I know. I hope I'm right. Well, shut up. Um. Dude, we. we you can have a wee mate. So what? You, you should know what that is. What your favourite book? Yeah. L listen, I'm I'm thinking of an answer I don't want to embarrass you with. A book of freaks that he carried around for six months. That, yeah. Oh, there you're That's joking. Well, That's your yeah. favourite book. It was a pamphlet. It wasn't a pamphlet. It was about 40 odd pages. It was the book. 50 top freaks given away with some dodgy old fucking magazine. It was with FHM. And it was like a freak book. That was interesting. And you count that as a book. Well, what would you put then? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen you with a, book, a proper book ever. Zing. So don't start lying and give me a load of old shite that it's someone like Nurture or something. Nurture. That isn't. What, what, what book would you Friedrich pick? Friedrich Nurture. What? No, you're right. He was, he was right in a way. It's a, it's <laughs> yeah, a book. It's book of freaks. I don't... I, I can't believe if, if... If if Carl meant Nietzsche or however you say it, I can't believe he got that from N Nurture. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's friendship right there. What? No, you're right. He was he was right in a way. It's it, book, yeah, freak, it's book, book of freaks. Let's go for the pad. Let's go for Fifty the top. Oh, the no, I got that. Fifty top freaks. No, no, well, it. Fifty right. top freaks. Carl's, yeah. Carl's Do you know what? Do you know how he liked it? Because um, uh, number fifty was a fellow with three legs. He was so excited. No, there was loads. Huh? No, number fifty was a bloke with two heads. Was it? Yeah, because I said Jesus. What's number one? Yeah. What was yeah. that? Was a bloke shagging a chicken? Got killed number by one. a rock. Wonderful. What? Wonderful. Folk shagging a chicken. What? I said, Jesus. What's number one? Yeah. What was that? Was a folk shagging a chicken? Got killed number by one. a rock. Wonderful. Wonderful. Carl's favourite song. Favourite what? Song. Carl's favourite song. No idea. Something from Banana Rama. <laughs> uh, okay. Again. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll have to do. Um, His face. Look at him. What I, is he thinking? Is, he's got a favourite song. Are you just for going for one or two? Oh, no, I'm going to go for a couple here. I'm going to go for. Uh, they, 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 they've both got a theme, um, and then I'm going to do. For, then I'm going to do um, tune, as well. Okay, I've got, yeah, I've got two eyes to like songs, and then I've got like a, a an instrumental. Right, I go for um, "Stranger on the Shore," Akabilk. All right. No, add there. And then I'd go for in the Elvis ghetto. In the ghetto. Wow, the ghetto. that's that. And there's one so more, cute. Yeah? yeah. They are great, Mister and Misses. Rod Stewart, Killing a Georgie. Oh, yeah. Now I went with them. Uh, Stevie Wonder in the city. That's all right. That's up there. Yeah. Not, not he likes hard. a he likes a song with a story. So anything, uh, I'll tell you another one as well. Wonderful Tonight. Yes. Yeah, that's... Like that, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, Convinced it's about a disabled fella. Because the lines she puts him to bed. Stuff like that. There's a few little hints. To it's not hints. Nothing to do with it. Listen to nothing it. Nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with being disabled. No, no, at no point. Why is he so obsessed or, with or, that? No, it's all in your head. Um, any others? Let's go for one more. Oh, this, uh, this is... Uh, I'm, I'll tell you, I'm gutted about the old pork chops. You've got to be careful with pork. Why? Worms. You've got to be done, yeah, it's got to be cooked right, hasn't it? Yeah, but then, now they do, they do things like pork. This is comes from the man who put sausages in the toast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Burn! Carl's favourite animal. Oh, that... Wow. Well, I have no so idea. So you don't mean a pet? No, I, no, a I'm monkey? not... monkey? Just any animal out there. Yeah. Little monkey fella? No, it's funny because I reckon he's got this one wrong. Oh. I reckon he's put down monkey. Yeah. But I'd probably pick sloth. I've put chimp, actually. There you go. He, he lumps in great apes with monkeys. He doesn't really know the difference. Um, funny you said the sloth because he went to the zoo and he called me up and I went, went to the zoo. What did he do? He said, uh, watch the sloth. He said, it's annoying. I went, why? He said, it's got a huge enclosure. I went, 
why is that annoying? He went, it doesn't need it, it doesn't use it. Hang it in a wardrobe, it'd be just as happy. Didn't move. Didn't so move. why do you like it? Was there. It's a lot dead. <laughs> I actually thought it was dead. 14 quid you pay to get in there, it didn't fucking move. Didn't, didn't do anything. Why is it your favourite? There you go. I think because it just fascinates me. That what you doing? This thing, mm -hmm. that a dodo died out, and yet a sloth so is still around even though it's asleep. Yes. Is that, you know, it's safer in a sort of a dead state. Dido died out as well, didn't you? Dido she died out. For years. Um, that's, the, that's, that's the Dodo and Dido. Didn't uh, do anything. All right, let's go one more. If, if Carl could have a superpower, what do you think he would pick? Bullshit, man. Wow. Bullshit, man. Okay. Flying. Uh, well, okay, I've got loads of answers man. here. Um, I think the general public would, would know one of them. Oh, yeah. But they're not, that's a joke one. Um, is it? No, that was a new idea, but you mean one that exists? Well, like, yeah, uh, well, okay, let's not count bullshit, man. Right. That's oh. not really that's a bullshit, superpower, man. yeah. That's, okay. a, that's what I mean, that's a made up one, but you're exactly. talking about one that people go, yeah, I'd have that. I, I feel like for some reason he is going to choose invisibility. For, and he's gonna explain it, and he's gonna give off the most ridiculous freaking answer ever. That's what I feel. Yeah, well, I've got one. I've got one. I don't know if it's true. I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 it's a bit weird. Um, Can't think of he doesn't even know. It's one that I'd pick, but I'm still not 100% if it's the right move. Um, I don't think you've gone for it. Oh, I've gone, okay. Shape shifting. Oh, I, got, I went for invisibility. I'm with Ricky, dude, mm. wow. Mm, sorry, I went for invisibility. I can't see that, but I believe you. Why shape shifting? I went for invisibility. Look at Carl um, surprising us all. Just because you know what shape shifting is, you can sort of be anything you want. What would you be now? You could shift your shape. Uh, on a day like today, probably a blue bottle. Why would you? Why would you be a blue bottle? It's a right weather for it. But, but I'd only do that for a bit. No, no, they're, 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 they haven't. Bec no, that doesn't make any sense. What? Why is it's, it? it's his fantasy. Just leave him alone. What do you mean? It doesn't make any sense. Leave the man alone. It's his hypothetical. Just. You see them. You in can't this ask way. somebody's opinion and say no. You're wrong. What's your favorite food? Pizza. No, you're wrong. Sushi's the best. Like, pfft, don't ask my opinion. There's no right and wrong. What the hell? Yeah. Sorry, what? Buzzing, that doesn't make I'd sense. only do that for a bit. No, no, they're, 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 they haven't. Bec no, that doesn't make any sense. Why is it that you see them in this weather? Because they're buzzing around and it's their time of year where they. Yeah, but we don't have to be a blue bottle to enjoy the weather, do you? No, but I've got to be something else, haven't I? Yeah, but why a blue bottle? That's well, why, what would why you not? pick on a day like today? You wouldn't want to be a, a buffalo, a bison, in this. Be well hot. So a blue bottle. Why out a dolphin? About. It'd be, it'd be... In London. <laughs> it doesn't have to... So, so now you're a blue bottle and he's got to go on the tube and go to work. Now no, you're I mean, six I'm in a London. Blue I mean, in a, I'm in, in a... London though. But You've it... still got to be at home. If you're a fucking dolphin, where are you knocking about? He has a point. I didn't know the restriction was the fact that you had to be caught in the city. Well, I would have... So where's the dolphin? Oh, so you can, you can completely change your species, but you can't move fucking town. Well, then you've got to get home again. <laughs> <laughs> the shape-shifting, you know what it is? Yeah, you can change into a blue anything, bottle. Anything, anything. Yeah. yeah, but you but do would it you where be you a are. a six-foot blue bottle? No, or? just a little one, and then you do that for a bit, and then you change But why are you else. doing it? What are you thinking? Have you got for a change. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you said it, all right, you picked invisibility. What would you do with that? No, that wasn't mine. My, that wasn't my superpower. I, that was my guess at yours, right? Because once you said <laughs> you wish you were invisible. So I love how, <laughs> how fed up Carl gets with all of this, dude. <laughs> Just like huffing about like as he's going through freaking the most excruciatingly annoying thing ever. Dude, it's just a fun conversation. Oh, that was my guess at yours, right? Because once you said you wish you were invisible so you could go sneak into HMV, you go shopping without having stress, pay for it and leave in the morning. Yeah, but that the, was your Yeah, but that's when C CDs secretly. was out. It's not but, worth it now, is it? No. no fuckers paying for anything these days on the internet. <laughs> 
download for fuck all. <laughs> so forget that, there's no advantage. <laughs> Being a blue bottle. Yeah, what are you doing? So you go, I'm in London. Oh, there's a bit of shit there. Oh, I'm glad I'm a blue bottle. <laughs> so, but what if you're shape-shifting, why don't you be a seagull and go to Brighton for the day? No, it's not the rules, you've got to stay in London. Why are you imposing this rule of it being in London? I'd give everything a go. I just picked that because it was a nice day and okay. I saw one earlier. Okay, what if you could shape shift? And I saw one earlier! But it was like changing your <laughs> region on your DVD. You well, okay, what if you could shape shift, but it was like changing your region on your DVD? You only had three goes. What would you try and then stick with? Ooh. That's a thing on your DVD player? You can only put your region three times and then it's stuck with it? What the hell what kind of technology is that? <laughs> okay. Remember, the world is your oyster. Right. You're going to have to stay in Kentish Town for the day. Well, I'd pick, to what, I'd pick what's her name? I've said to you before, I'd be, I'd be a sloth. Banana sloth. 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 Oh, you'd be a sloth? Why is said that. The it's sloth still good, isn't it? Because if they're asleep... If I'm not enjoying being a sloth, I can dream about being something else. So it's a safe oh thing to be. Yeah. I don't know. Well, if you're asleep, you can... What? What's the problem? You can anyway. You can wake up and go, oh, I wish I was a blue bottle. Some I've shit. never seen a blue bottle asleep. <laughs> yeah, listen. I called you the other day. You said slugs don't sleep. No, you called me and said, do slugs sleep? Yes. And you said, <laughs> That's different. You, <laughs> That's it. you got it all the wrong way around. I said... Well, sleep, as we know it, is very different. You know, some have microsleep, some can estivate, some can actually right, be right, frozen. Right, so, right. so I said, what do you mean by sleep? Right? So. Butterfly. Why? If I wasn't enjoying it, it's only for a day. And then you die? Yes. But then you're dead. <laughs> yeah, but if I'm not enjoying it... How are the... Behind, oh my god, dude, this is amazing. How are the people behind, like the camera and crew, just not dying, dude? This is one of the dumbest conversations I've ever seen. <laughs> what? The worst thing would be a tortoise. <laughs> you, you don't have to be a tortoise. I don't the best know. Thing. What's the best one else? I hate, I hate questions like this because you ask me, I give you an answer, and you argue with me. The I've true. told you, I picked three perfectly th true. decent things there. <laughs> a sloth. A blue a, bottle, a, a butterfly. Right, why did you, why did your supercar oh, be, be flying? Then you could be Carl Pilkington. Because Suzanne Superman. would be saying, no. Why? Because Suzanne would be going, oh, nip out and do an errand. Suddenly right. I'm flying around everywhere, busy, because you're going, it's easier for you. She don't get out for arse enough as it is. <laughs> I, want, I, I, I don't want flying, and everybody would be on your back, and no, definitely not. Then why choose a blue bottle and a butterfly? That's because their no job. one's. Yeah, but that's as a fly. Everyone's expecting it to fly. And then when I go back to me, I'd appreciate. I've, I've always said to you about not knowing if I feel well. Whereas a blue bottle, it spends its day flying around being sick on shit. <laughs> so if I come back to me, and I'm like, I feel really good now, I'm not throwing up all the time. And right. So there's benefits to being a fly. Oh. I think I'd appreciate life more once I'd seen it through the eyes, many of eyes, a of a blue bottle. What would you pick? Let's change it, because it's unfair, this. What would you pick? Any, uh, any shape-shifting? Uh, I'd pick either a bird or a dolphin, just, 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 just soaring, an eagle soaring. Swimming. A dolphin. Dolphins don't soar. Oceans. Whole world's my oyster. At no point would I think I'll choose something that if it's shit I die immediately. <laughs> That's much better. Well, we're all the dramatic we? voice! <laughs> what is that? Well, we're all different, aren't we? Yeah. Yes, we are. That's what this is about. <laughs> we are, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I have no idea what they just said. We're all fucking different. Oh, fuck me, you haven't got long enough, mate. Um. Well, don't say it the right I don't think you'd... Oh, it's annoying that you're asking this now, because I've got... To what they... I did uh, what? <laughs> did they ask you? It's much better. Well, we're all different, aren't we? <laughs> That's what this is about. <laughs> right, let's do one more very quick. <laughs> what is...
Well, Real fucking different. Dude, Ricky spoke and I can't hear him. Well, Real fucking different. Shut up, Ricky. <laughs> Real fucking different. Oh, fuck me. You haven't got long enough, mate. I don't know what they asked. Um, and I don't know what they said. What? Um, I don't think you... Oh, it's annoying that you're asking this now because I've got so much that I'd... I don't know which one to pick. Which um, one? What? Uh, well, uh, it's difficult to write down. Um, Maybe just do a word so that, that can prove that you will have got it right. If, uh, it. Uh, well, I think it's... Um, uh, I have no idea what's going on. Oh. I tried to. There is one word, and it sort of applies to all the things you might say that annoy him. But what annoys you I in don't one know word? If, what, 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 what's, what's, your, what's your pet's hate? Wait, what? That's the question? If, what, what, what's, what's, your, what's your pet's hate? What do pets hate? That's the question? <clears throat> Just when they shit somewhere. What? Oh, they when they shit somewhere and you can't find it and it stinks. What? The <laughs> I hate that. Isn't that funny? I didn't get that. What do you mean? <laughs> Just what have you thought? Faffing. Too much faffing. Like is people always like you can't do that. You have to phone five times. You have to put you on hold. People, oh, you, you just mean an annoyance. What did you think he meant? He said a pet hate. I thought you'd, I thought, right, okay, yeah, what if it's a What do you mean about pets? What do you mean? What do you hate about having a pet? <laughs> when this shit Okay, good night, everyone. Okay. Because <laughs> that, I'm, that, I'm, that, I'm, that, I'm I mean, really like that. I, I've known him for 10 years, and that surprised me. <laughs> right? Fussy. That fucking surprised me. Dude, a lot of this has surprised you, Ricky. Um, me too, by the way. I haven't known him for 10 years, though. But, okay, interesting, because you guys say pet hate. To, to me, that would have been a pet peeve, and I would have caught that if I heard that. But... I'm glad everyone, everyone involved was confused, so I don't feel that bad. <laughs> I've never, i never, I'm really sorry about that. Right, faffing, faffing, yeah, faffing. A pet, yeah, faffing. A pet when it, when, when, when it, when it, when you're asleep and it licks your bollocks. What? <laughs> no, all right, I got the wrong end. <laughs> yeah, faffing, faffing, all right. Yeah? Yeah. Fuck me. That's, that's great. That was great. Cheers. <laughs> That was freaking awesome. Dude, I love how much they know each other. And I love the Carl's ability to surprise anyway. <laughs> oh, man. That was really fun, dude. I really enjoyed that. I don't know. These two just... I like them. I like them a lot. I, I, I like how Carl gets so... <laughs> <laughs> like upset with Ricky, but he just goes along with everything anyway. It's great. And when they role play and stuff, it's just too fun. Oh man, Carl really is a wonder, man. I love this man. Easily, easily, easily one of the favorite, my favorite people that I've been watching this last year. Just, he's too, and it's so natural. It's he's just so naturally, ridiculously funny. And I love it so much. And I love that Ricky has. He has like the, the 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 knowledge on how to tap <laughs> that comedy from Carl. Just kind of get all that good content out. It's just brilliant. There you go. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you for that. For for giving me this link. This was very very fun. Definitely didn't spoil anything. So absolutely awesome. I am. Um, I appreciate. I'm actually semi impressed with myself that I got some of those. So yeah. Anyway, it was easy though. It's Carl, man. I mean, just it's the most ridiculous answer you can think of, and you'll still be wrong. Because <laughs> he'll go one notch further. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. You have been a wonderful audience. I appreciate all of you. Um, and yeah, I will be around doing stuff and things, watching stuff and things more specifically. So, yes. Oh, wait, I had, a, I had a good sign off, but I can never remember it. But I really like it. It's the Truman Show one. I can't remember it. <laughs>
Okay, is it, is it goodbye and in case I don't see you, good morning? No, or is it good morning? Damn it! I don't know. Toodles, ciao, bye. <laughs>